I was trying to copy this riff that I heard on Verbena's first album. Is it Verbena or Verbena? Anyway, I don't remember the name of the song, but it was really, really kind of awesome. And I did not know it. Uh, about, I was working on another cartoon and I had completed drawing and uh, shading all the cross hatching on the cartoon. And then I tweeted out this comment about Nazis commemorating D Day because <laughs> Trump was speaking. And then uh, that gave me this idea. Right then, it was 7.30 a.m. And I thought, oh, because I was thinking before that I wanted a D-Day idea that, that was just better than, thank you, D-Day, you know, which, which those are fine. Those are fine. I'm not, I'm not complaining about cartoonists that draw those memorial cartoons and stuff, but I'd rather have to make a statement out of it or, even, or at least get myself in a little bit of trouble with it. So um, I thought, there's my idea for D-Day, and it's, and it's labeled for D-Day. I mean, date it. I moved the date from this and the other cartoon because uh, I'm going to finish that cartoon today. I just have to color it. And I'm going to do that in a bit. Just while I'm making this video now. And but I had to do this idea. As soon as I thought of it, I thought, "Oh, this is good." I'm surprised somebody else hasn't already done it. This is one of those. If someone else does it, I'm going to go fly to their town because they won't live in this town, and I'm going to kick them in the goober. Other cartoonists, you've been warned. If you draw this cartoon, Clay Jones is flying to your town. I don't care if you live in Denver. Seattle, I'm gonna fly to your city and just kick you right in the junk. Amanda needs to get out of town anyway, so she'll probably be for it. In fact, I'm not even gonna be doing the kick in the junk. I'm gonna have her do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back with my coffee. Oh, I shouldn't say coffee. She broke her coffee maker and she's been in a dour mood about it. Dour, I tell you. Dour. Is that a word? Is that right? That's the right word for that. Should I should have just been using sour. Anyway, she's not happy. Um let us do some comments there. Oh, Ariel. She was singing Zombie with me by the Cranberries. In your head, in your head. All right, we'll stop that. Ariel asked, wait, Trump actually brought Tiffany? I thought she was the black sheep of the family. Yes, he brought her. I, I think she might be the black sheep because she doesn't live up to Ivanka, and she's the only kid from Marla, from Marla Maples. So I think they all kind of like, man, I had room with that kid. My daddy has to go off make another kid. My older sister was like that about our little sister and our little brother until my little sister got mad at me. Then she loved my little sister. So go figure. Because my older sister is, she don't like me so much. Trump supporter. Go figure. Go figure. She didn't like me before. This is kind of what we're about families. She, I mean, she was upset with me for like a decade. We used to be very, very close. But after Trump was elected, they're just not being had with me. Just turned into this furious anger where they go online and say all this crazy stuff about me. I mean, it's just like pure hatred and vindictiveness and meanness. And you know what? It's all over. I don't know. I really freaking don't know. And then my niece asked my older sister, why are you pissed and so angry at him? And she wouldn't tell her. So it's just a big mystery. Families. People are just angry. I think I got a death threat last night from somebody. He told me, I told him, this all his post is very, very angry. And I said, dude. Calm down. I didn't debate him on any of his pro Trump stuff, but he was really, really mad at London protesters and wishing for them to like die and crap like that. And I told him, dude, do something about your anger, get some help before it seeps from Facebook over into reality. And then he wrote, my anger is reality and I hope you sleep comfortable in your bed tonight. I think that might have been kind of a threat. I did not reply to that. Gonna let it go. Uh, Errol says, when someone says no offense, they're about to say something offensive. Yes, they are. It, it, that goes for racism, too. When they say, I don't mean to come off like a racist, or I don't mean to sound like a racist, that, that means they're about to sound like a racist. <laughs> so, Errol really wants me to say the correct plural form, a mouse. Okay, mouses. Mises? Mices? I really don't know. Anyway, I have two mices right here. One's for my Service Pro, and one's for my other laptop, my regular old laptop. Two, be actually I have three mices because there's one in a drawer someplace that has a cable, a cord, but I can't go back to cord ever again because I I've seen the light with cordless. I like my Service Pro mice, mice because um, it doesn't have to plug in anything, it's just connected with Bluetooth. Whereas my other one, it has a, a remote thing you stuck into the USB. Um, did I make you happy? Probably not. There's your cartoon. And now Eros also talking about how her four seasons are turned to two, and your favorite two seasons are mine also. I didn't really appreciate fall until I moved to Virginia because everything changes. It's nice. 
lasts like 20 minutes, but it's nice. That's all. Um, bum, 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 bum. Click the red button and become a subscriber, okay? Please become a subscriber. Pretty, 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 please. All right. And um, leave a comment, and I will uh, give you a shout out. Goodbye.